Well, food has been the glue in many of the friendships that Kamsia has formed. It's just one of the many things that her neighbors appreciate about her. Jonathan Lum and his wife Helen live next door to Kamsia. They moved in 12 years ago. It didn't take long for Kamsia to find a way into their lives. Putar muka saya tanya, Ay, John, uh, eh, uh, uh, why know my name, John? Ya lah, I call people all John. Uh, uh, and then, what, what your name? Uh, Kamsia. Uh, Kamsia. I, I, you never give makan, ya, Kamsia. Yeah. Actually, we were actually in the midst of painting our house. And we were surprised that she walked in and said, Hi, welcome. Then she offered us drinks and food. I think it was a very nice gesture. And, and she come with this. I call a full height smile, you know. <laughs> you can see the whole front row of teeth. I think it's very sincere. Yes, it's been 12 years since that first meeting, and they forged quite a bond. Kadang-kadang, kalau dia pergi makan angin, saya ambilkan dia sok kabar, saya kutipkan sok kabar, saya bersihkan pokok bunga dia. Kadang-kadang dia pergi jalan, kadang-kadang saya tengok juga kalau dia pergi jalan. Kan dia orang terlupa kunci, saya takut kalang goni ambil kunci dia. And John and Helen do what they can for Kamsia in return. We can't cook for her, so I would buy the best tulang in Jalan Sultan and, you know, bring it back for her. When she has any problem or things like, uh, she might just pop up and say, Hey, John, do you know of any, uh, like, aircon repair service man because my aircon is leaking and things like that. Very little things to uh, exchange idea and, you know, we help one yeah. another, things like that. Yeah. Over the years, we've only had one disagreement. I think the only time is uh, when I first bought my dog. Some Muslims believe that a dog's saliva is considered unclean. So contact with dogs is generally avoided as much as possible. And she asked, why did you buy a dog, John? So I was a bit captured, you know, and I don't know how to reply. I just said that I, I grew up with dogs, so I love dogs. She used to avoid, but I think now she's just very casual and walk past the dog. So I appreciate that. It was fortunate that she can adapt and eventually I think the whole family get to get used to our dog, so it's good. Jiran tu sebagai kawan saya important jiran lah, sebab apa-apa jiran dulu. Saya anggap dia bukan keluarga, berapa ibarat macam abang saya juga. From the neighbours that we've met today, it's clear that that famous kampung spirit of Singapore is still alive. Friendship and kindness can be found just next door to us if only we took the time to find it.